Hello, everyone. My name is Don Preston, president of Preterist Research Institute. Welcome to Preston's Ponderings. We're right in the midst of studying Matthew 16, 27, and 28, where Jesus said, The Son of Man will come in the glory of, of the Father with his angels, and shall reward every man. And verily I say unto you, there are some standing here which shall not taste of death until they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom with power and great glory. Now, in the very first segment, if you saw that, we established that what Jesus was doing here was drawing from the old covenant promises made to Israel about the time of her salvation that would result in salvation going to everyone else. Now, in Matthew 16, 27, Jesus was drawing from Isaiah chapter 40, verses 1 and following. Now, in Isaiah chapter 41 and following, we find the prediction of the voice crying in the wilderness, saying, Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Take a look at the passage. Isaiah chapter 40. Prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be exalted, every mountain and hill brought low. The crooked places shall be made straight, and the rough places smooth. The glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Now, here's the voice predicting the coming of the Lord. Who in the world was the voice? Well, the Bible is very, very clear that the voice of one crying in the wilderness was, in fact, John the Baptizer, or John the Immerser, if you please. In Mark chapter 1, it says this, Behold, I send my messenger before your face, who will prepare your way before you. The voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. John came baptizing in the wilderness and preaching a baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. In other words, John was the voice crying in the wilderness saying, prepare for the coming of the Lord. Now I want you to follow me here. Uh, I'm going to make a real quick argument that is really, really important, okay? Take a look at this. The coming of the Lord, that the voice was to prepare Israel for, was the coming of the Lord in judgment. Now, how do I know that? I know that because Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 10 says, Behold, your God is coming, and his reward is with him, and his work before him. So this is the coming of the Lord in judgment. So, take a look again. The coming of the Lord that the voice was to prepare Israel for was the coming of the Lord of Isaiah 40 verse 10. This was to be the coming of the Lord in judgment. Again, verse 10. Behold, the Lord God shall come with strong hand, and his arm shall rule for him. Behold, his reward is with him, and his work before him. In other words, John, as the voice, was to prepare the people for the coming of the Lord in the kingdom he shall rule and in judgment. Now, folks, this is really, really important and very critical. Watch this. The coming of the Lord foretold by John, remember, as the voice of, of Isaiah 40, was near when John ministered. You remember what Jesus said to the Pharisees and the Sadducees? Who has warned you from the wrath that is about to come? That's the literal Greek. And he said the axe, that's the axe of judgment, is already at the root. And he said the winnowing fork, that's the image of harvest, is already in his hand. Now watch this. Since the coming of the Lord in Matthew 16... Is the coming of the Lord of Isaiah 40, the coming predicted by the voice, and since the coming of the Lord predicted by John as the voice was near, that proves beyond any doubt that the coming of the Lord of Matthew 16, 27, which is the coming of the Lord of Isaiah chapter 40, 
It proves that the coming of the Lord of Matthew 16, 27, and 28 was in fact near, and that agrees perfectly with verse 27 or verse 28 that says, There are some standing here which shall not taste of death until they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. That's the coming of the Lord to rule with his mighty arm, Isaiah 40, verse 10, 11, with power and great glory. We've got more, so don't go away. Next segment's coming up.